Welcome back everybody. Um, today we're gonna get some of the tanks washed out of the sugar house. Um, it's probably like 29 degrees right now, uh, but it's warming up today and tomorrow is supposed to be almost 40 I think. Um, so just down in the bottom of the barn here, I've come to get uh, a hose so that we can fill the uh, where'd it go? It was around here somewhere. Um, that barrel that we had around here. Oh, here it is. Walked right by it. So this barrel, we're going to fill with water and haul down so that we can wash out um, the lower tank so that we can get ready to collect sap there. Um, but because it's still winter, we need to run that from in the house. So we have a clean hose that goes in the house that I just brought in and is thawing and I'm looking for the big hose to run from the door down to the driveway to fill the barrel. Well apparently I've forgotten where we put everything because I'm pretty sure that the hoses are actually upstairs not downstairs. So we gotta go up the hill here and see if we can find them up here. So we need the big black one out of here. So this is where we hook the hose up inside when it's winter. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, I think, but I have the hose running in here and there's a valve in here. This is just the freezer on the right. It's kind of tight, but uh, this is where we can take water out inside in the winter from. Shovel is. I 
Go back and do it again. Go back and do it again. Probably good. He's good. Good. Yeah. Gotta put the back down. That'll work. So we're down here at the lower tank. This is the tank the sap first comes in when it comes through the woods. So it's one of the first ones that I want to get clean so that uh, when we get ready to tap, it's all ready to go. Um, but it develops a little bit of mold over the summer um, when it was sitting, so we were cleaning it out. We're using a um, sprayer here that has some uh, Sanidate, which is like a, organic. it's an organic food grade cleaner. They uh, use it in supermarkets to uh, wash like the produce sections. Um, so we're going to use that and get it all out and then pump water down here and spray it out with a little bit of pressure. What's that? Nothing. Oh. It's going. Oh, you got a clamp on there? There you go, dude. Ah, I'm not ready yet. Oh, well, just don't clamp that yet. Just don't show that on there. So that's where the bear took a bite out of our tube. See, previous video, you can see the teeth marks in there about four inches apart, so thanks, bear. Forgot to put this pipe clamp on. I 
can never remember that. Oh, this one's warm. Oh, yeah. It gets real warm. Yeah, slide your pipe clamps over your pipe before you put it together. Makes it a lot easier. In the past, we've had to carry buckets of water down here to clean the tank, but this year we got it set up so we can pump water down here. It's gonna be way easier. Although I'm in charge of the water end of it, so it might be getting wet. All right, All right so let's tip the tank. Tools, little bucket. when you get on it. Up that. Yeah. There's some snow supporting it there. Some what? I think there's some snow supporting it back there. So up here is that system we built the other day. So I'm going to go turn those valves so that we can pump water down to the lower tank. So I want to shut off this one and that way water won't come right now out the end here. Eventually it would go in here. But this one and this one are open so water should go back down to the lower tank. So I'm going to turn the valve on that goes from the barrel to the pump. We're going to let the pump fill up until we see water coming through this tube right here. It's not there yet. Um, can you open your valve? All right, we're going to give it a shot. No, why isn't that working? All right, so by turning the valve on up there, we managed to get water through the pump. There may be a ice plug in there. Okay, so that should do it now. I got water here. Okay, give it a go. Stop, stop. We, got, we need a clamp up here. Just a clamp. Okay. And we got a leak here. Yeah. So we need to tighten this clamp, but we need to put another clamp up there before this will work. <laughs> All right, so it looks like there might be an ice plug in the line that goes from the sugar house to the lower tank because it wasn't letting water get through the pump just by gravity because the water that's in the barrel here should push its way at least up to that same level through the pump. We need water in the pump to make it work. That wasn't happening. Um, so by opening the other valve, we managed to get water through the pump, but then turning it on, a couple of the joints sprung some leaks, um, and it started just like sounding like there was some pressure buildup. So probably there's not water getting down there. 
which means there's a plug in there somewhere and that was also not allowing the air to get out to let water into the pump so we're going to fix the two leaks and then we'll see where that gets us we might be able to just put enough pressure on that plug to be able to break it out of there So we're going to let that plug try to thaw out there a little bit for now. So we're going to finish hooking all of the plumbing up to the inside of the sugar house. Good. that on with a wrench? Yes, you did. I did? Yep. Okay. I don't see marks from it. Oh. I think we need a wrench on that. Definitely did not. Oh, hold your valve though. So that's on there and this pipe is not going to go straight until it warms up outside. Hold pipe is not fun. All right, so that's hooked up there. So now we can go finish the inside piece. So this is where our drain is here. So we were just working on the outside of this elbow and uh, we got a drain here. We're just going to use this extra little piece of pipe for it. Usually you don't have to heat this stuff up, but this one's being difficult. here for the drain. Pipe's a little oval now here. There too. Yeah. Once more, but we got more on there. Okay. So that one's there. Now we gotta measure this one. Pipe cutters are awesome. We did a little bit of it without these, and uh, these have saved so much headache. 
can cut just about any, I think you can even cut PVC with them, can't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't leave enough. Are you close? No, I didn't leave enough, did I? Because I measured up here. It's an angle. How much I got here? Can't make that one longer. Um, you can stretch that a little bit. Also gain some when the pipe warms up and isn't totally crooked here. I think you're there, yeah, that looks good. Uh, yeah, yeah, once this warms up, you can see like this is this is bent this way here. It's bent this way here. So once that all warms up, it should give us a little more room. Okay, so that one's done. I'm gonna go get another pipe clamp on that up there, uh, but I don't have a drill down here right now. So we can get, we can get that later. Yeah, go ahead. What's up? Yeah, so just hold off a minute. Let this... Yeah, once the sun hits this, it'll all melt. Uh, it won't take long. It's flowing right now. Give it a minute. Yeah, just give it a minute. Yeah, I want it off because I want to fill this tank and then flush it and then rinse it. Like 10 gallons? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, give it a minute. It's starting to flow faster. It's starting to flow faster. Give it a minute. Yeah, give it another go. What's that? Okay, it's coming. Just give it a minute. Tank's clean down here, sun's out. We gotta change our hats over to ball caps. No more, it's 35 degrees out here. So Shurgan's gonna start soon here. Um, yeah, it ain't gonna be long. These snow starts melting. Uh, Mikhail's up picking up right now, but we'll head up, see what he's up to. I work as a hand in San Saba Fences and windmills to men I've been out on a crew Eating tumbleweed stew Three weeks in the rain 